Hi, this is Linda Iron with Traveling Flamingo, and we love cruising, but it can get expensive. And before I start dropping any more money, I like to try everything that is included. We're going to give you a full list of all the dining locations that are included in your cruise fare and what beverages are included when sailing with Celebrity Cruises. All that and more coming right up. Let's not waste any time and get right into this. It's common that the main dining room is included in your cruise fare. On Celebrity Cruises' newest class, the Edge class, they have upped their main dining room experience. Instead of having one main dining room, there's four different main dining rooms that are all included. Each has their own theme and special menu options, including a set menu that's available at all four dining rooms. We love the food that we had in the MDRs, Linda's favorite was Cyprus, which is a Mediterranean-inspired restaurant. You can't go wrong with Saganaki, which is, of course, Linda's favorite food. My favorite was Tuscan, which is an Italian-themed uh, menu, which I really enjoyed. Cosmopolitan is a new American uh, restaurant with global influences, and Normandy has a French-inspired menu. I just want to pop in here and thank everyone who has liked and subscribed to our channel and say that we have a ton of cruising videos about dining, ship tours, including a tour of the Celebrity Edge that we're talking about here. We also review the four main dining rooms, so when this video is done, be sure to check out our channel. Thank you very much. I agree, and I really like the idea of having the four main dining rooms, and I thought the food there was great. I wouldn't say Saganaki is my favorite meal, but it's definitely something that I don't often get and really enjoyed at the Cypress restaurant. So on to the Ocean View Cafe that's on board. That's the buffet. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We really liked the international stations and the large variety of food options they had. We also liked that they had quite a few make to or made to order stations. And every time we came in here, we found something we liked. The views are also great with floor to ceiling windows. And there's a small section out back if you like to sit outside. The buffet was great. We really enjoyed it on a lot of our sea days. If you're someone who finds themselves spending a lot of time in the Solarium, which is the adults only area, then you'll want to check out the Aqua Spa Cafe. We did enjoy the comfy loungers, the views, and being shaded from the sun in the Solarium. The Aqua Spa Cafe is right there and offers light spa style food for breakfast or lunch. They also have fresh made juices and smoothies. They too cost extra, but there is a nice little seating area for you to enjoy your food at. I did like that they had a little food area in the solarium. You don't often see that in there, so it was nice to grab a little snack and a drink when you needed it. But if you're looking for more sun, then you'll probably be hanging out by the main pool, which is where you can find Mast Grill. This is where you can satisfy all your poolside cravings with hot dogs, burgers, french fries. There's also a self-serve ice cream location, which is perfect to enjoy by the pool. We actually enjoyed getting some food here and getting some sides from the Aqua Spa Cafe, and it made a nice little lunch. As Linda said, there's soft serve options in the mass grill. If you want more flavors or toppings, and Linda loves toppings, as you can see here, uh, there is actually ice cream underneath this, this pile of toppings. Uh, you'll want to go to the buffet where you can find scoops, this is where there's a rotation of ice cream flavors and toppings. This was super popular. I liked the flavors that when they rotated, but I know some people were very disappointed when their favorite flavor was only there for a day. So be prepared for that. Make sure you check it every day if you really love ice creams. So if you see your favorite ice cream, be sure to get it. Eden is a specialty restaurant that's inspired by nature. During the evening, there is a cost to dine here. However, if you come for breakfast and lunch, it's free. We love the views and the open feeling that Eden offers. We tried breakfast here one morning and really enjoyed it. The selection is not huge, but the breakfast sandwiches were fresh and we were able to find a nice seat to sit, relax, and enjoy the scenery. Cafe El Bacho is a gelateria. They also have some treats that are included. We love stopping in here to have a drink and watch all the action. It's such a great location to enjoy a coffee or a wine. It felt very fancy. It felt like a very fancy coffee shop, which had some snacks and gelato. The gelato and beverages do have a cost. Right now, there's a great beverage package deal, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. A couple of restaurants that we wanted to mention that are included, but also not, if that makes sense. 
If you're an Aqua Class guest, then you have exclusive access to Blue Restaurant. They offer spa inspired food, and on our sale, they were open for breakfast and dinner. Luminate is a restaurant that is also only exclusive for sweet guests. We have not got a chance to try this, but have heard amazing things, and every day there is a new menu. This is definitely worth checking out if you have access to it. A question we get asked a lot is Is the room service included? On Celebrity Cruises, it is complimentary 24 hours a day, so you can enjoy a meal from the convenience of your room at any time. We did enjoy having breakfast in the room on port days, as it gave us some time to get ready and enjoy our breakfast in the room without having to go out to the always busy buffet. I agree. The room service breakfast was really nice. It was actually a very nice hot breakfast. Many cruise lines don't offer the hot food as well for the complimentary room service, so we did enjoy that. On to beverages, where we do get asked a lot of questions about what's included and what you're allowed to bring on your cruise. Right now, Celebrity has brought out the always included deal. This includes unlimited classic drinks, unlimited Wi Fi, and free gratuities. So, what does classic drinks mean? This includes all drinks on the menu that are $9 or less. This is most typical liqueurs, cocktails, beers, soda, bottled water coffee and fun fancy coffees. I really enjoyed all the fun fancy coffees and staying hydrated in the Caribbean is always important so every time we walked by a bar we would grab a bottle of water. Prior to the always included deal, juice, water, tea and coffee were included as well as selected soft drinks at meals. As Linda said, I absolutely love to have water in the stateroom and you can pay slightly more to have some bottled water in your room if you're interested. I've had heat heat stroke a few times and it's definitely something you want to avoid. So be sure to hydrate, be sure to get water, make sure it's in your room. You're allowed to bring two bottles of wine per stateroom on board. If you have them in a restaurant, there is a corkage fee. In terms of bringing water and pop, the Terms and conditions do say that you are not allowed to bring non-alcoholic beverages. However, we have seen some people who have brought these on board. Another question we get asked all the time is, does Celebrity have Coke or Pepsi? We've noticed that people really love either Coke or Pepsi. They serve Coke products and they don't have freestyle machines like Royal Caribbean, but do have uh, Coke. Overall, we were really impressed with the included dining options on Celebrity Cruises. The quality of the food was great and a nice selection. We really enjoyed the four MDRs that are on the new Edge class of ships. Each night, it felt like we were going to a new restaurant. The selection and quality of the buffet was terrific, and we always found something that we liked. There are not as many included restaurants as there are on Royal Caribbean. It's similar to Princess Cruises, but there's no need to pay extra for specialty dining. But if you're interested to, to, they do have some very cool and unique dining experiences like Eden and Le Petit Chef, but there's no need to pay for them for better quality food. You're just more paying for the experience. Although I will say the rooftop grill with the double patty hamburger (laughs) that you're probably seeing right now was simply amazing. So highly suggest the rooftop uh, rooftop grill best burger I've had on on a cruise ship. So there you have it. That is the what's included for free on Celebrity Cruises food edition. We hope that this gives you information about your next cruise and helps you make an informed decision as to what you want to do. Thank you very much, and we really hope that you like this video. And if you've gone this far into it, then I think you probably did. So hit that like button and feel free to subscribe. Thank you, and happy travels.